Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 5. Inside this video session guys, we will learn about load multiple views in application. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. So basically guys, in our previous video session, what we have discussed, all the codes we have committed to the GitHub repository. So if you go to this GitHub link, also we have mentioned on the slides as you can see. So if you open, go inside this GitHub repository and we have committed code three times. So if you click on commit section, now inside this, in the last video session, we had discussed about routing in CI. So this is the last commit actually we did. So if you back to editor, now inside previous video session, we had discussed about the parameters detail, how many parameters and how can we info inform our controllers method about the past parameters. And also successfully if you open our controller something called site, inside this site controller as we have discussed about the several things about parameterized as well as routes in our coordinator framework. So inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about loading multiple views in application. So basically what it means if you go up, as we can see that inside the two methods called index and about, we have loaded a single view and the, to load the view, we have a syntax in coordinate something called this load view and here is the file name. So here we have actually loaded only a single view file, but what about the rest? Suppose in our application a view file is for header, one view file is for footer, one view file is for the content. So how can we load the three views files? So we have three different views files and we can load inside a single method. So first of all, just I'm going to inside our views folder. Inside this views folder, I'm going to make a folder something called Let's say that include. Inside this includes folder, I am going to make a header. So let me create a PHP file. And let's say that it is header file. And inside this, again, I'm going to create a footer file. So let's say footer. So inside this header file, we are going to actually write all the codes of the header section as well as inside this footer.php, all the codes of footer section. So go here and let's say that inside header.php file, let's say HTML and let's again for the head, inside head tag, let's say title and here is, let's say that learn. code igniter version 3.1.10 okay and inside also we can specify our script tags also we can specify our style tags so I'm going to write only a style so this is all about the header section after head tag let's say that I'm going to add a body tag Inside this body tag, I'm going to put all the contents what we have inside our file, something let's say that site about or site index. So if I open site index and site index file inside the site directory. So go here, click on this file and if I copy all these contents, go here and let me put all the contents inside this body tag. After that, I'm going to make a footer tag for the footer section. So let's say footer and inside this I'm going to use a paragraph tag and let's say that all the codes developed by online web tutor. This is all about our footer section. This is all, all about a body and this is all about a header section. So now this is a complete HTML page. Now this is a simpler page. So how can we divide our sections into different different files? So all we know that this is for all for the header file. So I'm going to cut all these sections or instead of that I'm going to cut only this section. So apart from this if I cut all these sections body tag go inside site index I'm, I'm going to pasting it here 
but remember this file is incomplete because as here body is opened but now inside this file body tag is not closed but we are going to actually attach all these three views files in a single method so this body tag take its closing parameter from this file now I'm going to cut all these codes from footer to lat HTML tag and pasting inside this footer file now if suppose we run this application first of all it will find all these codes from here after that it will attach all the codes from here and finally if you go inside footer it will actually take all the codes from here and finally closes the body and HTML parameters so if we save this file go to site.php and if I remove this code from and let's say that this load view first of all we have to actually include the header file this is all about header so header now I'm going to add let's say this load view in the next time we are going to attach our let's say site index and finally this load view inside this view I'm going to pass a parameter something called footer all we have done now this file basically contains all about our header section so let's say header section site index have all the contents of the body section so let's body and finally footer have all the codes of footer section so if I save all these files back to our browser reload this page and now we have some error something called unable to load the requested file header.php so if I back to editor and all the files of header and footer basically inside this include folder so we have to actually also specify our folder name this was actually our mistake copy that put it here and also site index is inside the site directory now save this file back here reload this page now again we have some error so I think that this time we are correct so why we are getting errors so back to editor now here we have a specified include and here is something okay actually I think that the folder name has not been in the correct name position so back to folder structure go to application inside views folder and this is the folder we have created so I'm going to rename that and putting it as a correct spelling so it should be include so save this file back here again I'm going to our browser reload this page and now as we can see that we have actually added all the codes of header body and the footer section if I press ctrl U to get the source code or either we can see here view page source so now inside this source code as we have now header body and the footer this is the concept of guys loading multiple views inside a single method so basically this is the first way to include multiple views but we have also a alternative option so if I back here go to includes folder inside this includes folder and if you open about header.php inside that so not inside this file if I make another file inside this views folder so let me make that and let's say that full or uh, let's say simply the page and why not actually we include home underscore page dot php inside this file if I open I'm going to add all the codes of header pasting it here go inside our site index open this file copy this code back to home page pasting it here go inside footer copy all the code and paste inside this home page so if I make some formatting and this is the code what we have written in three different files now what actually what I'm going to do I'm going to separate all the codes into different sections but this time we are going to include our multiple views inside this view file not inside our controller what we have done here in our controller we have actually added multiple views inside this method now we are going to 
learn about different alternative way and for that we have made a page here is our complete web page code now inside this includes folder let's make a file something called header other dot php so inside header other from home page I'm going to cut all these codes from here and pasting inside this header other dot file again I'm going to include folder let's make a file let's say footer other.php so if I open this file go here cut this code and I'm going to pasting it here again go inside views folder or let's say site folder and let's say home content dot php and inside this file I'm going to write this body section and pasting it here so successfully we have separated all the codes of this file into three different sections like header other, footer other and the home content. Now we are going to attach all these views files inside this homepage.php. So let's say that php this load view and inside this view we are going to pass our file name and file name basically let's say include folder inside that let's say header other this is how we have included our header file copy the content pasting it here and this is all about let's say home content again I'm going to copy the syntax pasting it here to include our footer file so let's say that footer dot other so this is the code for the footer section let's say for the content section and finally this is the code we have included for the header section so if I save this file back to our controller and inside this controller if I comment all these codes and let me include the single controller what we have made let's say single view file so this load view inside this view we have made a file something called home page so home underscore page so after calling this method it will include this file it will present this file now after presenting this file this file also presented three different views files so if we back to editor reload this page and now as we have something error so back here and the error is something called include home content.php and I think that home content is stored inside the site folder so let me change its site save this file reload this page and now as we can see that guys we have successfully actually attached all three different views files into a single view file this is the second way to attach multiple views in our application but the first way what we have learned is the better way to attach multiple views so I recommend that in your application if you need to attach multiple views then the first way you need to prefer for the better code understanding or for the better code so I think guys that inside this video session we have discussed about load multiple views in application so here if you have any question then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day